Hi everyone, welcome back to Cybersecurity TV. So you must be wondering why are we are uh, learning about the obfuscation and and why why am I teaching and giving you so much time on like you know why you need to learn about the obfuscation. So there are multiple applications and 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 today we are going to talk about the PHP. Previously we have talked about JavaScript and we have seen several other techniques. So why PHP? Uh, PHP is one of the most popular language out there. There are still healthy number of applications which are using the PHP and then it's easy to read easy to understand so of course like this is all good if you're writing PHP code right as a developer however there are multiple applications which are where uh, obfuscation is indeed needed so suppose you are an attacker and you are reverse engineering an application uh, I've done so many times like Android iOS you reverse engineer the application and try to figure out uh, like you know what is uh, what is the function is trying to do what is this particular module is trying to do uh, that's that's one reason that developers usually obfuscate the code so the attacker cannot understand as an attacker if I am writing some some uh, malware or some virus which is indeed malicious or or I'm building an offensive security tool uh, to protect like you know uh, some key resources then I want to make sure I obfuscate my code so no one else can copy it or, or, or at least by looking at it, they don't get the insight on what it's trying to do and of course the main purpose is to defeat the security mechanism like IDS IPS WAF right so uh, the more techniques you know the more techniques you learn uh, it's always going to be a really valuable skill because you can find million ways of like you know uh, trying and uh, different combination if you know how to obfuscate the payloads in a different programming languages so that's the main reason uh, we are going to learn about it so yeah please hit the like button uh, for for the YouTube and if you like this video let's get into it so uh, I think this particular chart you must have seen in one of our previous video. I think it was part of the advanced uh, web exploitation where we have seen one of the PHP type juggling kind of vulnerability and we were successful exploiting it and that's where I had shown this table. And if you just, just to give you a quick comparison. So PHP uh, and what's the type juggling mean, right? Uh, so just like JavaScript, PHP is also dynamically type language. So it does not explicitly require or define the definition of the variable. So for example, one which is in the double quotes will hold true against if you compare with the true. Uh, the fun part is this one if you see null will be true if you compare with the false even PHP keyword will be true if you compare with number zero and this is like would not make any sense if you are if you are seeing this first time but I think we have covered this particular uh, exploit already in one of our previous videos if you if you need to access it just search like PHP type juggling on our channel and, and you should become uh, you you can see that video uh, but yeah so that's that's the main uh, like you know thing I want to chat about so type juggling does not require explicit type definition but don't worry we'll, we'll see some examples and, and some really cool examples that will blow your mind how this actually works so uh, in this case type the type of variable determined by the value it stores this is very very key feature it determines the type by the value it stores in the variables so that is to say if a string is assigned to variable where then this becomes type string and afterwards if you replace with the integer then it will become the integer right that's that's pretty straightforward how it how it does so let's see some examples here uh, so here I'm first assigning this number one but in double quotes so that means now it's string but if I say plus plus now it will turn into the uh, integer and now it will become the value as a two and now if I assign plus equal to 8.9 now this is some floating value right as you can see so now the type of this variable becomes floating so this is uh, pretty like you know amazing how it does mm -hmm. now let's see some more uh, interesting examples so there is a variable one and I've declared with the value cybersecurity TV now if you echo uh, the zeroth position of course it should show as like you know the first letter which is letter C but now if you try 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, then it will go to space number one and ignore all these values now next thing you're gonna 
see like 0 x 0 2 uh, this is actually an hexadecimal uh, like you have we have also tried in in like you know JavaScript so this is this becomes the hexadecimal and now it will become letter 2 because this turned into number 2 so this is the way you can like you know um, bypass or obfusc obfuscate your code uh, here there are some uh, another interesting examples so as you can see again we are positioning number zero so of course that's the first position but now you can add as many zeros as you want and the last like all of this will be ignored and it will count as number one and, and you will get oh, I think okay I think there is a mistake I have made so this should be Y instead of I I don't know why I did I sorry for the confusion so here it should also show like uh, letter Y and here it will show uh, second position which is the letter B uh, let's uh, see like you know with the boolean values so here false is always zero as we have seen in the, the type juggling chart right and zero means first position or zeroth position true is one so it should show as letter Y and then here we do have one object which is high and we are adding we are doing the addition operation with the true true holds value one so one plus one becomes two and that's letter B so this is like you know uh, another interesting examples on on how it works I also actually want to show you uh, one of the uh, yeah this was the presentation I found on the OWASP. Uh, I'll, I'll probably put this in the uh, reference as well. But they uh, actually I copied the table from here. But interestingly, it also show you uh, shows the same examples which I'm I'm showing here. But then it will also show you what are the bugs you have. So in PHP, if you do double like in any other programming language, if you do double at uh, equal to that means strict comparison right integer to only integer however PHP that's not the case so very common s double equal to is the default comparison in other languages difficult to actually exploit due to usually not being able to input type data via HTTP only strings but here it's different because if you I think read here uh, this one three times double equal to is actually strict and two times is only loose so that's why uh, this is all possible and you can actually go through it and, and see how uh, the CSRF protection could be bypassed using this double equal to sign and then this like you know examples of loosely coupled or, or type juggling issue with the PHP so that was uh, that was like you know quite crucial that that how you can obfuscate the entire code by using different like you know hexadecimal you can also use octal as well uh, and and of course decimal uh, to kind of make people confused on how you are designing like a malicious software now there is another interesting concept here which is <coughs> variable variables and it's not a typo so if you see this sometime it is convenient to be able to have variable variable names that is variable name which can be set and used dynamically a normal variable is set with a statement such as a is equal to hello <coughs> a variable variable takes the value of variable and treats that as a name of the variable in the above example hello can be used as the name of the variable using two dollar sign so here we can say two dollar and assign the value world so now if you echo this it will say hello world because uh, defines uh, contains hello and hello which contains the world and therefore this statement this will produce the exam exact same output as hello hello right so that's that's what the variables variables now let's see some really cool examples on how you can use this so here let's say x say is value stored as i i now this one becomes the variable variable and it will store value love love stores watching watching stores your your stores videos now if you echo just x it will say i but if you put double dollar sign that means it's variables variables so it will give you value love then watching then your videos right so 
now you can add as many dollar sign as you want even in one echo st statement and it will print out the exact same thing so we have seen like some of the basic techniques right there are actually so many techniques out there for php it's it it would be impossible for me to teach you each and every technique so i, w I would i would uh, like you know encourage you to probably google it and 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 like you know research about all the php type juggling and all the other obfuscation techniques i do want to cover one more uh, in the next video like what we cover for the non alphanumeric techniques in javascript i want to teach you in the php so just to uh, be on the same page when you're trying to bypass some of the uh, filters you can use this kind of techniques to actually like you know access some sensitive pages like sometimes if you want to access php info usually you want you would not be able to because of ids ips or maybe some basic uh, application filters but using some alphanumeric techniques you can easily bypass those so uh, learning uh, this one is going to be very very valuable skill as i said before uh, you can be stand out in the crowd uh, because you know there are so many ways uh, you do not have to rely on the oas chat sheet in order to like you know find a bypass you can just play around and and see and you can actually build your own database based on the uh, different uh, combination that you can imagine right so i think i hope uh, you you like this video if you do uh, please hit the thumbs up button let me know if there are any other techniques that that you have used and succeeded so far i have used this technique and i have got a lot of success a uh, lot of success in the past so that's why i'm teaching this but if you have got other techniques uh, do let me know uh, please hit the thumbs up button if you haven't already and i'll see you guys next week bye